Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our new business interview again today with our CEO, Dr. Sebastian Hirsch. We hope that you enjoyed Happy Holidays and had a great start into the year 2024. Sebastian, could you maybe elaborate a little bit on our 2023 uh, new business results and on our performance? Yes. Overall, it was a very good performance over the whole fiscal year 23. Also in Q4, we saw the acceleration, which is quite normal in Q4. And the performance across countries um, was very good. We achieved, in the meanwhile, in six countries, a business volume of 100 million or more. And that is very good for our business. On the other hand, we achieved also in several object categories a very good performance. So we did over the whole year a good performance in the e-bike business. We added new object categories like robotics, for example, the green bond was very important to being more present in the green object portfolio. And that's not only important for Q4 or for the last year. That's also important for the growth we will see in the next year or in that year. In the meanwhile, it's 2024. And which is also important, not only about the volume of new business, when you look to the numbers of requests, the numbers of inquiries we got over the whole year and especially in Q4 and December, because that's always the base for the new business of tomorrow. And I'm sure that we will see some of the request as investment in 2024, and that's a new business in 2024. Yeah, thank you. Could you also elaborate a little bit further on regards to the profitability? New business volume is one side, but what about CM2 margin and about the development throughout the year? Of course, especially in 23, it was very important to be careful on the one hand, but on the other hand, bringing the CM2 to a right balance between volume, growth, and we did, and also managing the interest rate development. And that was a very tough job in 23, especially in the beginning. And when we compare our CM2 margin, Q4 2022, to 23, we see that was an amazing job by our sales force worldwide in nearly each country. So we did that management that we were able over the whole year to passing through higher interest rates into our leasing new business. And that's much more important than the volume at the end of the day, because the CM2 is margin and in absolute numbers. That's the driver for our future earnings. Yeah, thank you. You said it yourself, the profitability sort of contribution margin to leads to higher earnings in the future. Could you give us an indication in, with regards to the profit and loss and then development? It's quite early because it's beginning of January and we are now uh, taking care for all the numbers to providing for the fiscal year 2023 numbers. But because of that strong performance in CM2, I can't see any indicator that we will miss our targets for the 23 figures and our profit and loss. And again, it's also a good base for future earnings, for the earnings to come for 24 and the next years. So I don't see there any indications in terms of our income. And so it should be quite stable and as expected. Yeah, thank you for your time today. We look forward to you tuning in for the next interview, but in the meantime, we will publish our annual report on March 7. And take care, all the best, and goodbye. Bye-bye. See you soon.